Is Andrew Benatendi a realistic trade target for the Yankees? But before we get into any of that, I just want to say thank you, guys. Thank you for who's ever been supporting the channel since day one. Or if you're a new supporter, I just want to say thanks. I've been getting an overwhelming response on my most recent uploads. And like I said, the support means the world. I would love to try and hit 3,000 subscribers very soon. I won't put a time on it, but I would love it if it's soon. So please, if you're not subscribed yet, but you love the Yankees, subscribe here for daily Yankees content. This is what we do. We talk Yankee baseball. So let's talk about Andrew Benatendi possibly coming to the Yankees in a trade from the Kansas City Royals. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he's a free agent at the end of the year. And I would love nothing more than to acquire him and have him beat up on the Red Sox when we play Boston. I would absolutely love nothing more than that. That would be fantastic. But there are a few things that you have to think about before making a move for a player like him. Is he good? Yes, he's very good. He's hitting, I believe, what, in the 320s this season? He's got two home runs, so doesn't have a lot of power. I believe his career high in home runs is 20 with the Red Sox. But the kid's good. He's a really good ball player. You could put him anywhere in the outfield. And judging with how the Yankees, how poorly we have been when it comes to Aaron Hicks and Joey Gallo, Ben Attendee would be an upgrade over both of those guys combined. He would be. It's just, what is it going to take to get the guy? Listen, he's a good ball player. I really like him. We're getting him in his free agent year, right? He's, he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. So... This is walk year. What's it going to take? Are we going to trade a lot for this kid? Are they going to want a, a ransom? They might want a decent amount for him. They may. He's a really good ball player. You can't blame Kansas City for that. Of course not. So you have to look at, okay, if you trade for him, it won't be for as much as what you would trade for, let's say, Juan Soto. Of course not, because Juan Soto is the freaking anomaly, man. He's an anomaly. He's just an ex the exception to the rule. I'm trading all of our farm for Juan Soto if we can. That's not realistic, but I would. It's Juan freaking Soto. Kid's 23, and he's a left-handed bat. But Ben Attendee, depends. Are we going to acquire him in a trade and then sign him to a contract extension? Are we going to do that? Seal the deal. Make sure he's a Yankee. In lieu of that, though, you have to also re-sign Aaron Judge. You have to. And I hope they do. But in re-signing Ben Attendi, if you acquire him in that trade, in re-signing him, you're going to lose out on the potential of signing Brian Reynolds in the future, who hasn't had a great start to this season. You'll lose out on that. And you'll lose out at signing Juan Soto. Now, if you don't sign Aaron Judge and you sign Ben Attendi instead, then that Juan Soto possibility is still a thing because, number one, Ben Attendi will not cost you as much money as a Soto or a Judge will. Of course not. And they're two different ball players, right? So if you bring in the, the prospect of bringing in Juan Soto, still on the table if you just have Ben Attendi in pinstripes and not Aaron Judge. But if you bring in Ben Attendee and you re-sign Aaron Judge, well, getting Juan Soto, it's just not happening anymore. Especially if it's free agency, it's just not happening. So the downfall in acquiring him, you'll be dealing away prospects for a kid who's just going to walk. Or you acquire him, re-sign him, and then lose the chance at signing Juan Soto or Brian Reynolds in the future. I guess that's the gamble that you're going to have to take. Listen, we already lost some prospects in the Joey Gallo deal. We lost some prospects in the, in the Rizzo deal. I know this. And Glenn Otto really isn't pitching that great over in Texas. He has a 5-5 ERA the last time I checked. If I'm them, he should have stayed down cooking in AAA for a little while longer. I saw the kid pitch at Somerset last year. He did really well. Do I think he was ready for the big leagues? No, I didn't. But Texas did. And he's there, and he's pitching with the 5-5 ERA. So it doesn't look too good for him now. But I digress. Anthony Benatendi, 
good ball player, someone that I would like the Yankees to get. It's just you have to think of the consequences of getting him. Are you just going to deal up? Are you, are you going to deal a Peraza for Ben Attendee and have Ben Attendee walk? Can you? Be, are you okay with that? Or are you going to trade for him, re-sign Aaron Judge, re-sign him, and then lose the chance of signing Juan Soto or Reynolds in the future. These are the things that we have to think about as fans, and Cash has to think about as a general manager, which I'm sure he is. So guys, listen, Ben Attendee would be a good fit with the Yankees. It's just you have to think of the consequences of bringing him over to the Bronx. Maybe I'm overshooting it, overanalyzing it, but that's just my take. So guys, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button and comment down below what you guys think. Would Ben Attendee be a good fit in the Bronx? Would you be okay if we traded for him, re-signed him, re-signed Judgy Wudgy, and then lost out any opportunity to get Soto or Brian Reynolds in the future? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, guys. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out.